Hello and welcome to another quick crop video. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to grow in raised vegetable beds and show you a very handy method for beginners square foot gardening. Growing vegetables in raised beds has become more popular than ever before, especially with urban gardeners where space is at a premium. Vegetables grown in raised beds are so much easier to look after because everything is contained in a nice neat space with a comfortable working height. This is the quick crop raised bed garden, which we've built using some examples of our range. Bear in mind that these beds have been in use for about three years now, so not spanking new, but they do show just how well the timber lasts with just a slightly lighter color being the only difference from when they were first installed. So let's get started. We've shown you how to assemble our beds in a separate video. Check out our YouTube channel. So for today, we're gonna to go ahead and fill it and get it planted up. The idea behind a raised bed is it doesn't really matter what soil you have underneath as you'll be filling the bed with your own blend of soil. If you have a good garden soil and as a rule of thumb a darker soil is more fertile you can use that to fill your beds but I would advise adding a rich mulch of about two or three inches of garden compost to the surface. I always add one of our 60 litre bags of Envirogrind before I plant or sow seeds in spring, so I'm just going to add a bag now before we get started. So what are we going to put in our beds? Well, most people would start off with maybe one or two beds, so it's worth doing a little bit of planning to make sure you pick suitable crops. Personally, I don't think there's any point in growing large crops like cabbage or broccoli because they just take up too much room, whereas closer planted crops like lettuce, beetroot or carrots are about perfect. To illustrate what I mean, I'm going to show you a method of gardening that's very handy for beginners to illustrate plant spacing. It's called square foot gardening and we're going to give it a try to see how it works. I'm going to divide up one of our six foot by four foot beds into square foot sections. Make marks along the side of the bed every foot or 12 inches and then using a hammer fix a nail in at every interval that you've marked making sure to leave enough of the nail above the wood to tie on your twine. Next, make a loop at the end of your twine to attach it to the first nail and string it around the bed to form a grid. Pull it nice and tight, winding it around the nails as you go. You can see the bed is now divided into 18 equal squares and when you reach the last nail, pull it tight again, tie it off at the end and you're done. Now, here's the clever bit about square foot gardening. Each square foot will fit a certain amount of each crop. So for example, this square here would fit one small cabbage, yet the same size can fit 16 carrots. Do you see what I mean about choosing your plants carefully? If you fill your bed with the larger crops here, your grid will very quickly fill up and you'll have little room for anything else. We have some of our ready to plant seedling trays here and a few packets of seeds, so let's get started. You can find the recommended planting distances on our website under the square foot gardening tag. I'm going to start by planting some lettuce in this square, which will fit four plants. So I simply divide the square in four with my trowel and plant one seedling in every square. Now I'm using four week old plug plants today, but if you're using seeds, the same principle and the same spacings apply. Now how easy is that? Carrots are best sown direct instead of growing in trays like lettuce, so this time I've divided the square into 16 and I'm planting three or four seeds in each square. When the carrots come up, I'll need to thin out each cluster to leave one carrot per square to prevent them from becoming overcrowded. Next, I'm going to add a courgette, which will require a lot of nutrients to produce plenty of fruit. So I'm using some sea mongoose, seaweed and poultry manure, which will feed my courgettes for over three months. Plant large trailing plants like courgettes in the corner of the bed so that they can trail over the side and not take up too much room. Remember, when you're planting seedlings, push the soil in around the plant roots to get a good seal rather than pushing down from above. Square foot gardening is a great way to get started. Like any system, it has its limitations. The planting distances for the larger plants won't give you the highest of yields, yet for medium to small size plants, it works just fine. Now, as for my raised beds, well, you can see what a pleasant garden that they make. Remember that at Quick Crop, we are the raised bed experts and will help you with any aspect of raised bed gardens, from planning to supply of beds, soil, plants and seeds, with plenty of free help and advice along the way. You can contact us on our websites quickcrop.e and quickcrop.co.uk. We'll always be happy to help.